Hey, what's up? My name is Alfonso, and my friends call me Poncho. I'm Poncho de Anda, and I was born in Mexico City, and I have lived in Miami for the past 18 years of my life. So yes, I am the guy from Miami, and I am bilingual, as you can see. Obviously, my mother tongue is Spanish, but since I've been living for so long here in the United States, I also speak English. To be honest, that's a very hard thing to do here when you live in a city like Miami where no one wants to speak English. ¿Qué pasa, man? You big shot friend better come up with something soon. I decided to make this first video about being bilingual because even though I have been in front of a camera almost all my life and that I can speak English, I consider fluently for some reason. Every single time I thought about creating content in English, I would just freak out. I would just go back to my mother language, which is Spanish, but that's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> And I know it was easier, that was the reason I was doing it, but not anymore. Because from now on, I will be posting content in my second language, which is this, English. This is a country where we speak English. So for this particular video, my first video, I will be sharing with you what it's like to be bilingual and how can you know if you, the one who's watching, is bilingual too. Or maybe you can be a bilingual person. I'll say it uh, three person uh, in English. I like it better in Spanish. Many people learn two languages and, and they claim to be bilingual. And truth is that very few can actually reach that goal. People, especially here in the U.S. and the United States, often say bilingual about people who just know some language other than its first language. But a better definition for bilingual would be anyone who is able to use two languages with fluency. Loco! 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 So, a person who is fluent in two languages would be then considered bilingual. Easy, right? How close are you to be bilingual? Even though it's hard to tell, there is a test that I will be sharing with you so you can find it out. And if you think that by taking Spanish classes in high school you were able to master the language, you might be wrong. Anyway, let's just find it out. test has over 20 questions so if you want to answer the full questionnaire there is a link that I'm sharing with you in the description area and that way you can finish it and find out if you truly are a bilingual person like myself and if you're not a bilingual person don't worry the really cool thing is that even though you're not bilingual now you can become a bilingual person anytime come on I did it when I was 26 years old so if I did it you can do it too and yes there will be some people who believe that you cannot that you will not be able to become a real bilingual person because you didn't acquire your two languages when you were a kid, blah, 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 or, or at least you were you were not a young child when you started practicing the new language. But again, I became bilingual. And when I was a grown up, I did it. So if I did it, that means that you can do it too. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I actually remember that my English teacher, because yep, I did have an English teacher. It was an English teacher and an accent reduction teacher. And that happened many years ago. I was getting prepared for a TV show that I was going to be hosting in English. It didn't happen, and that will be another story to tell in another block. Thank you for joining us. We want to thank all of our guests, Las Alonso, Mark Wahlberg, Ana Trebuscaya, and Tristan McManus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time. The thing is that my teacher told me that I would know when I was bilingual because I was going to be able to switch languages without even thinking about it. Bilinguals can handle both languages at all times without translating or thinking how to say things in one language or the other. <laughs> That's the way it works. Y si no, pregúntenme a mí. Mira, pregúntame para ver qué tal yo hago eso de brincar de un idioma a otro and just switch from one language to another without even thinking about it. Y, y no es necesario ni siquiera traducir. I don't need to translate. Absolutely nothing. No necesito traducir nada porque mi mente piensa en los dos idiomas. I can think. I'm able to think in two languages. Anyway, we bilinguals are often unaware of changing languages in the same conversation. Sorry, that's the way it works. Coming back to the story, my teacher even told me. Yen, 
that I was going to be able to realize that I was bilingual the day that I started having dreams in both languages. And yes, at some point it started happening. And now I'm just so used to it that I don't even think about it. Bilingual is better, period. There are clear and very tangible benefits to being bilingual. Speaking more languages make us more open-minded and help us feel more connected to other cultures and to the world. Being bilingual comes with a world of advantages and you even sound sexy. Espejito, espejito. Dime, ¿de qué cuero salen más correas? I mean, when you speak in two languages, people like it. There is no denying that having linguistic skills is la crema innata, and it doesn't hurt that it also makes you appear bien cool, really cool. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with other people. You're always welcome to subscribe and become part of this community. This is the guy from Miami. I'm Poncho de Anda, and I will see you soon. Cambio fuera, nos vemos en la próxima. Que te valga.